Part six of about the S&P e-menus. So you could trade most option strategies with the e-mini S&P futures. We touched on this in the last video, right? Uh, so we, you could buy calls, you could buy puts, you could do vertical calls, spreads, uh, butterflies, iron, iron condors, everything you could do uh, with stocks, you could pretty much do with the e-mini S&P futures, okay? Um, if you ever get assigned instead of being assigned on stock, you'll just be assigned via a future uh, options contract. The SPY, which is the stock ETF, tracks the S&P E-minis, right? It's a way for you to potentially trade smaller size. So if you trade one E-mini S&P future and you're looking for a two-point risk, that would be $100, right? Well, maybe you want you, that's too much risk for you. Well, you can actually go trade SPY and give yourself a 20 cent stop loss, right? And maybe only trade 100 shares of SPY, which would give you a $20 stop loss, okay? 200 and so on and so on, right? 200 shares would give you 40, all the way up to 500 shares, which would equal one EMA future contract, which would give you $100 worth of risk. So it's a different way to kind of look at it in, a different product to trade where you could get this and watch the e futures chart but trade the the spy instead of the e futures and maybe have a little less risk and you also receive less profit if you are correct now you could trade with nadex okay which are binary options nadex is a website and they're also the exchange, okay, for binary options. A binary option is an option contract that will expire potentially within 20 minutes, uh, a couple hours, a couple day, or every day, or even weeklies, okay? So let's say um, you want to trade the... You're bullish on the SPY, okay? But you don't want to use a stop loss. Well, Nadex, you could do a binary option where you have zero risk defined, right? And we'll go over, we'll do an entire uh, learning lesson on how Nadex works. But it's a great way to have risk defined. Maybe you want to place a bet where you risk $50 and it's a true or false, right? Yes or no. Um, will the E-mini futures close above or below a specific number, right? Um, so we'll, we'll go over that in the lessons, but it's a great way to also use uh, Nadex to limit risk. Also, a lot less capital has to be put up. So it's a it's more of an alternative to trading the e-mini S&P futures. Um, like I said, Nadex binary options allow you to make couple hour trades, stuff like that. And it's a great product to put on risk defined trades where you don't need to use stop losses and you could be dead wrong. And then the very last day or last couple hours, uh, the market could reverse and now you're right and you've made a uh, full max profit. So that's it for about the S&P E-minis. Um, our next video will be a quick recap on the S about the S&Ps.